Hello, it's the Type Shot and welcome back to another video. Sorry I've not uploaded a video in a while, but here we go. This is going to be the SMG, so here we have the Micro SMG, the weakest um, fully automatic weapon in this game. Actually, it's the weakest projectile weapon in this game, uh, with a gun, for example. Uh, if it comes to the tear gas, that's the only thing that's weaker than it, or the jerry can, because that's also very weak as well. Um, but this is the weakest gun in the game, along with the other two SMGs, which are the SMG and the Assault SMG. And now, obviously this one's uh, designed off the Uzi. Um, the other one's designed off the MP5 or the MP5K, depending on uh, the adjustable stock, because that one's got adjustable stock out. And I think this one here, the Assault SMG, is designed on the QBZ. Unsure of the... Uh, assault SMG, but I know the Assault SMG is similar to the QBZ, or, or the same people make it. So, the Uzi was kind of a thing in uh, GTA 4 because it was a Battle Gate Tony DLC, and you got a gold Uzi because of um, Yusuf. And another thing about it is, as you can see, the Micro SMG is maybe firing a lot of rounds but it's weaker than the Gatling gun and the Gatling gun, aka the minigun is meant to be one of the weakest guns in the game and the minigun actually is one of the weakest guns in the game to be honest it's just amazing I'll how weak that gun really is and, but people don't notice it because the fire rate's capped out so it's chronic but a lot of people will say that same about the Uzi but it really doesn't because the Minigun's range is like 10 times more than the Uzi because you can actually just see the giant fucking laser beam of bullets going everywhere. But when it comes to the um, micro SMG, things like that don't exactly happen because obviously this is because the fire rate's not high enough and also that the magazine is only 30 rounds and at default the magazine is 16 rounds. So it's like, uh, even though it's firing 700 to, um, no, 600 to 700 rounds per minute, I think it is, it's still not really going to kill things because it's only got a 30 round magazine. You fire like them rounds and then all of a sudden you're reloading like instantly because it's going so fast. But let's see, let's see. Let's just pick up uh, End in his hearse here and we'll fly back over to the island so we can demonstrate the weapon, power, stats and other things. Now, with the micro SMG, um, I would suggest not using the suppressor uh, because it lowers the damage too much and it can't use it once you're in uh, point one combat or almost point one combat. Um, I would say that the micro SMG would mainly be designed for close range to medium range combat. Um, I wouldn't say long range would do that well because a lot of other guns beat it in range by quite a bit, so it's not really going to happen. For example, like you're not going to really free aim that well either with the micro SMG because when you fire, the spread radius goes too high and basically you just lose it and you get killed. Maybe cover will change that fact and I think it does but I'm unsure. It depends how good you're at the game really when it comes to the micro SMG if you're using it to say you're not a noob or something. That would be a good choice because it's one of the hardest weapons to use in all time situations. And to be honest, just to make sure I got used to the gun, I used this gun for about a week and the micro SMG isn't the best gun when it comes to certain situations. Um, for example, if you coming up against a, a, just a basic assault rifle, to be honest, um, you're basically just screwed. Um, just showing you there while I'm shooting that is that the cargo bob front cover where the glass is is bulletproof. You can't shoot through that. So if you ever getting cops on you or someone's trying to kill you, and they've only got uh, guns, getting a cargo bob. It's not going to kill you because as soon as you're in the cargo bag, the doors and the glass on the front are bulletproof or bullet resistant, as I would say. And that would be awesome if we got to put that on our cars one day, but we don't. Mm. Only modders get to do that, which is a side phase. Uh, so, what we're going to do here, I'm going to test the uh, lock on. So, that's basically the lock on 
Um, there, and I'm going to shoot ending the chest with one bullet. And he's got armor here. As you can see, one bullet didn't even take rid of all his armor, so I'm just going to shoot him again. That was one bullet, even though it sounded like two, that got rid of his armor and a tiny little bit for health. So you can already see that this gun is very weak, and armor will actually protect you when it comes to the Minecraft SMG. And as you can see, it's not really doing anything. And there we go. So, a lot of people are like, hang on, why did uh, you shoot then a couple of seconds later and, or, and, yeah, died? And that is because in this game there actually is a thing called, um, bleed out. And basically, when you shoot someone, uh, if, even if they get back behind cover, there is a chance that they can still die because it's just going to cause them to bleed out and die. So the game goes, hang on, this guy's must be dying here. Uh, you're just going to die by default. So it's taking around about 8 bullets, which isn't bad, but that's at very close range. So, me and Ender are going to do uh, some combat in a minute. We're going to use some different guns. You're going to be using the advanced rifle and probably the combat MG. Uh, that's what I told him to use in this video when we go in combat. And it's basically going to show that the micro SMG, if you're coming out, against one of these weapons, you're basically screwed. So the key is when you've got a micro SMG and you're in um, online and that's like one of the first guns you're going to get, so uh, this is a very good tip for low levels, you're going to want to go round them, outflank them, get close to them or draw them into you so they come closer so you can get a good kill on them and lock them on. Another thing tip uh, when you're shooting, if you want to go for a long range shot, um, you can hit the L3 to go in crouch, uh, L3 to go in stealth, I think, and then R3 to zoom in, or is it the other way around? I can't really remember, because I haven't played and yet today, I'm doing this before I get on. And basically, you can see that this weapon is really just a focus weapon. Um, it's mainly for noobs. I th personally thought that GTA might have turned it around and done it a different way, where basically... Um, you get the new weapons first and the pro weapons later S seeing that the Uzi was an OP weapon in some other games and it's not OP in this game I'm good with the Uzi because I did use it for a week straight so I'm just making this look easy you should try using the Uzi in GT Online and without drawing them in free aiming because that is when it gets hard and basically another would be push your analog stick when you're aiming up slightly um, so you can get a shot in the head then once you push it up slightly as soon as the spray starts to go out pull it back down so basically the one of the bullets if it doesn't hit the head you pull it back down into the chest then you hit the chest getting most bullets hit so you can win the gunfight more often now I'm saying this now that does not work with shotguns so that's not really going to help you if you're using a shotgun but it will help if you're using um, any other single projectile weapon and no, it will not help with an RPG, just because I'm going there quite as well, so I think it's how I So, recently, as you can see, I have got the pressure on this thing, and I, that took around about a mag and a half, and I hit end with most of the first mag, until I got shot myself and I moved. But, as you can see, this weapon is not that bad, but it's definitely a pro weapon, because it's just too weak to even be a good weapon. Uh, it's not going to be one of those weapons that you're going to see everyone using, so you're going to have a few players using this, uh, or a very little amount that are just going for gun camos, or just going for it because they want, like that weapon personally. So, as you can see, I'm just going to move around here. And what we're going to do to test this time, I'm going to go behind the tree and use the tree of cover and show you how much cover actually does help you out. So, N's going to be using the combat MG and firing back, so he can walk on to me. See, I'm saying this now, End isn't a bad player, he's actually a really good player when it comes to it. If he wants someone dead, he will kill him in any way possible, so... I told him to go for that on this, and I've actually been shot quite a bit in this, but because of the tree, it saved my life. As you can see there, cover does work, you can't actually shoot through 
trees. I'm not saying you can't shoot through every tree, I'm just saying certain trees actually can't be shot through. So, as you can see the damage, the fire rate and all that. Now we've got the MP5, and this one is the MP5, not the MP5K, but if you put the stock back in, or took the stock off and changed it, it would become the MP5K. Default magazine on this is 30, extended mag is 60. Damage, because uh, I've got the suppressor on it because I'm using it as a secret service weapon, uh, is going to be a bit more. Well, it's normally a bit higher, but it's around about the same with the suppressor on it as the Uzi. The range is slightly increased uh, compared to the Uzi, and the fire rate, I think, goes down because this gun drops fire rate for range and accuracy. So, as you can see, yeah locked on there and with the Uzi I wasn't locking on at that distance so basically the range is lock on range it doesn't mean the bullet projectile range but with the shotguns lock on range also does mean bullet projectile range because they've changed it so SMGs and other guns like that you're going to want to use for close combat or uh, close to long extreme long range combat then you're just going to have to pull out a sniper rifle after longer than that a lot of people are thinking that once they're at the draw distance they can't be killed that is wrong um, I've been on top of Maze Bank with a sniper rifle, and as you've seen in my sniping pro video, um, I can hit them from top of Maze Bank to a Santos Customs uh, if they're in a helicopter, a car, or anything like that, just because uh, you can still see where they're actually sitting. And next video actually will be the next weapon, which will be the 50 caliber, but this video is just going to continue with the SMGs now. So this one's around about the same damage again, as you can see it's around about 8 to 10 bullets kill, maybe more, maybe less, I think the micro SMG I got it slightly wrong, I just got lucky with a couple of chest hits and it damaged him more than I thought it would. So I would say this gun's got an average to 6 to 10 with kill, with bullets, and some people like, hang on, the combat MG was the same in the last video, but the thing is the reason why the combat MG is classed as a new weapon, because if its accuracy is really good, its damage isn't too great, but its fire rate and its magazine size make up for that, making it a new weapon. Because the SMGs have extreme small magazines, they don't go bigger than 60 magazine. And basically, um, even if you do hit them enough, you're probably going to die before. Because they've either got an assault shotgun, an advanced rifle, and they, or they've got an MG out. Or they've just got an extreme... Uh, noob and pulling out a Gatling gun spraying it for fucking days so you don't know so I'm just gonna go put my health up to max here uh, or close to halfway just to get it over so I can get it up quickly and get into the combat part so this has got a cog so it's increasing my accuracy uh, it's got um, suppressor and extended mag something that I ex didn't I actually thought I'd expect it on GTA a fire rate increase attachment or something along those lines but there isn't and there's no ammo change um, like for certain guns not like in GTA 4 where you had two versions of the AA-12 where one version was explosive and one version wasn't now in this game there is no gun like that and a lot of people are asking about the explosive sniper or the explosive shotgun personally I would like the explosive sniper back. Uh, but we don't know I would also like a P90 in GTA P90 is one of my favourite weapons, and I'd love to own one of those in real life, but I don't, sadly. Um, so, as you can see, N's using the combat MG against me, or the advanced rifle again, and the MP5 doesn't have much of a chance, um, unless you get that headshot. If you get a headshot with the MP5, it's dead. They are dead, basically, once you get the headshot. If you can't get the headshot, someone's going to kill you first. And basically, if you're using these types of weapons because you're all level, you're actually going to be better at aiming and that when you get into the high level, you can like some of the new weapons and that. For example, I've still got to categorize the um, carbine and the advanced rifle because I've got to balance them out. I've got to understand which one's which. I would say the advanced rifle's overpowered, but then some people would also pay the, say that the carbine rifle's overpowered. But then some, also, some people also go, hang on, it's not in some cases and that's my point same with the grenade launcher I've actually got a category for that and I'm going to do a special video on that one later but for now we're going to continue talking about these SMGs now the SMGs to be honest um, aren't like the worst weapons they're just the weakest weapons 
So it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to kill with them, it just means it's going to be more challenging to kill, and kill could be more rewarding if you like that. Personally, I'm probably one of those players that if I kill with them with a really crappy weapon, I'm just like, oh, I'll get pwned. Because half the time it is, it's like the base pistol, when you're in a low level deathmatch, the base pistol can do a lot and it can whip someone's ass, but uh, when you're in online, the base pistol doesn't do much, unless they're using it as well, so... Sometimes you can get lucky with it though. So as you can see, I'm catching end off guard slightly as well. Uh, so when we spawn in, I'm getting the advantage sometimes, he's getting the advantage sometimes. But, um, the SMG, I'm having to put quite a bit of bullets into him. So we're going to go on to the Assault SMG, also the QBZ. Um, the QBZ is basically a bullpup SMG. And it's actually a real good gun actually, good accuracy, damage is increased, um, the fire rate I think stays the same exactly to be honest, and it's basically just the accuracy, the range and the damage that increase, the fire rate doesn't fluctuate up between the MP5 and the, um, uh, MP5 and the QBZ, sorry, what's my train of thought then, um, basically the Uzi is the fastest fire and weight weapon apart from the minigun but the Uzi is also one of the crappiest weapons considering it to range and damage that is why the Gatling gun isn't the best weapon as well because the Gatling gun range looks big but you can see if you just spray up to the sky there is a range and the bullets just stop and you can actually just see them just stop there's no bullets after that so that's eight bullets I think that was so I'm watching on the small screen while I'm uh, recording my audio on it I think that was about eight bullets so, basically, they're all around the same damage, but they increase damage over time. This one has got the highest damage when it comes to the SMGs. And, to be honest, uh, this is a gun that I like, personally. Um, it's the closest one to the P90. I'm actually very, very confused if it is actually meant to be the P90, because underneath the sight, it looks like the magazine is meant to sit up there, not under the bu with a bulb up at the back like the QBZ. But then the QBZ looks the same as well, so they could have just merged them both and gone, here, yeah, have this, it's kind of like a twist gun that GTA created, but but you could call it the P90 if you wanted to, but I'm going to call it the QBZ because of where the magazine is. So, I can't lock on to end at that range, the range doesn't increase too much, so I'm going to move a bit closer, see if I can lock on to them at close range. And there we go, the range has definitely increased, you can see that right there, the range has increased with the QBZ. But at maximum range of the lock-on, we don't know how many bullets it's going to take. I would say about nine, I think it was, uh, to kill someone at this range. And it's either nine or more, and a headshot is normally one shot. So with the Uzi, to be honest, the uh, headshot doesn't actually um, kill. I just realised my character's holding that gun wrong. Really wrong. It's just the way she's holding it that would actually kind of probably burn her hand. But alright. Whatever you say, GDA. Um, basically, you can see that we don't do much damage at range with the SMGs. So the SMGs are full on close quarters. Like I said, if you get a headshot with an SMG, you're probably going to get either it's either a lucky kill or you've done it. So basically, I uh, right there, I told N to use a combat MG against me, we both locked on, we both fired, N didn't even get a headshot, and he killed me, like in a second, with like three bullets to four bullets, with a combat MG, and that's because I think one of them, uh, also hitting in the neck, doesn't count as a headshot, but it will do a similar damage, it won't kill first shot, but it will definitely do half health straight away, so you can get a two bullet kill if you hit them in the neck. So, this game, when it comes to hitboxes and damage ratios and all that, is very, very good. And basically, the combat MG versus the highest power SMG, which is the assault SMG which we're using here, uh, doesn't do much. I'm probably not going to get a kill on him. I think I do get one or two, but I get lucky. Um, but I also get bored as well, so I think I snipe him. I 
see you and anyway as you can see that range is quite far a lot of people would say that's not going to reach that far the bullets will reach that far the auto walk on won't uh range is more of the walk on range but people are like hang on the range also means when it comes to different type of weapons for example the sniper rifles and the grenade launchers and rpgs because these weapons don't walk on the actual range is their projectile range uh like the gatling guns actual range is its actual bullet range not its um like walk on range because these type of guns don't have walk on range because uh, GTA understand if those guns have lock on, basically there is just going to be so many players using those, no one else going to pay too much attention to the other guns. So they tried to make it so no gun is like super overpowered, but the assault shotgun and some of the other others still are, but I'm expecting that because in every game there's an overpowered gun, and in real life guns are overpowered anyway because they one shot to two shot and they basically kill them if you hit them in the chest in the right areas. So. A lot of people don't understand that, so that's why I don't like Call of Duty. They just don't know how to do damage uh, when it comes to weapons. So, as you can see, I couldn't even get a walk on to end, I couldn't even see him, and he'd already got a walk on to me with that combat MG. So, as you can see, the combat MG is a 100% new weapon against any other weapon. I get lucky here, I think, and get a headshot. As you can see, headshot right there. And I, I think that's actually. Um, good when it comes to the QBZ because you can literally just look up and normally when you're below a target with the QBZ it walks onto the head but only with the QBZ is doing this so the QBZ is very good if you're gonna try and get a SMG with a camo like when I went for my MP5 to get that orange that took me a while let's just put it that way and I'm still trying to get killed to make it LSPD today because I've got a lot of guns LSPD'd and I'm just waiting to get more of that rank and on my second character I've even got some guns orange again on there and it just like shows that I'm actually really good at GTA <laughs> or either that or I bum it out too much but some people call me tryouts for that and I don't mind so I really so. Another thing, um I would say SMGs have a tendency to when they start firing at long, like long ranges or um, over time because of their fire rate it starts to counter their accuracy and basically destroy the accuracy. So I would say the best idea to do with an SMG is to burst fire it if it's a long range kill or if it's close range you can either hip fire hopefully get lucky or walk on and make sure you get that kill and win that uh, kill every time. So basically that's around about it for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe below. Also, there'll be more videos popping up soon. Sorry I didn't upload last week. Something came up. Computer issues. And everything should be good now. Um, be prepared for some Minecraft videos. Maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, next Saturday or Sunday coming up. And hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe below. And hope you enjoyed it.